What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I go over all the lines of sight, jump spots, as well as any other sort of secrets and common spawn locations on every map in Modern Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be moving on to one of the most popular maps in the game right now for multiplayer, and this is Shoot House. So let's just hop into this. Even though this is a very small map, I do have some great little secrets to share with you guys. It's not going to be very line of sight heavy. It's going to be more jump spots and just ways to get around the map a little bit more effectively. And the first thing I just want to point out, you can actually jump on top of these over here by the A domination flag. You can't do it normally, but you can actually do it a couple different ways. You can jump from this wall right here, which sometimes it just decides to mantle directly over the wall instead of just onto it. But from here, you can just sprint jump and make it from there. Also from this piece here, you can jump up onto this and then jump across to that. Why would you want to do this? Well, you could use it to challenge people that might be camping back in that corner there. They wouldn't expect this. They're going to be aiming down low and expecting you to be peeking them from here. So that's one option. Aside from that, it's not really all that useful though. Now, something that is quite useful is just a little bit of a faster way to get up on top of this red container here. Instead of doing this and then this and doing two mantles, if you aim for this sort of corner right where this meets the red container, you can just jump straight up like this. And it's just a little bit faster and it's all about optimization when it comes to getting around the map. Now, the same thing can actually be done over on this side as well. As long as you kind of aim for that corner, just like that, you can hop up and there you go. Now from this area here, if you have an enemy up in that window there, which is very, very common, instead of trying to challenge them from here, maybe leaning around the corner or something where you have no cover, the best way to challenge them is to mantle on this. If you crouch, you're completely hidden from them. Stand up. And there you go. Excellent line of sight to challenge those people. Now also from here, I just wanted to point out, you can jump across to this container here. And from this, you can actually jump into either one of these windows. Take your pick. I'll just show you jumping into the more difficult jump. That's this window right here. But even that is pretty easy to do. Now getting over by the B domination flag, if you want to challenge people that are over in this direction here, your only option looks like it's to come around this corner. And a lot of you guys have probably tried jumping up on top of here and it doesn't work, but it actually does. If you go to this part here where you have this logo, you can jump on top from this one. And also if you aim for this corner right here, that will also allow you to jump up on top of here. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, then you're not limiting yourself by coming around that corner where they're going to be pre-aiming you. Also, from this spot, you can jump across to this corner here, and that just helps you get around the map a lot more effectively and a lot less predictably. Now, also over here, I just wanted to point out something that I found as I was jumping around, and that is there's like a little invisible ledge that you can hop up on right here. And this allows you to see a little bit over top. You can't really see much more. So if they're laying down on the B flag, for instance, you won't see them. But if you see them running through there, you might be able to pick them off from that little area. You can also use this, of course, by hopping up on here. That allows you to then hop up on top of this, which isn't the most practical thing. But again, it's just showing you guys what these tools are. And you just might run into a situation where you want to use that tool. Now approaching the C domination flag, just wanted to point out for those of you guys that didn't know, you can easily jump on top of this wall. When it comes to Modern Warfare, normally you wouldn't be able to jump on something that high up, but it's actually very easy instead of coming all the way around this corner and just having them pre-aim you. So make sure you are taking advantage of that instead of just doing the predictable thing and coming around the corner. Now getting back to this area here, this line of sight is cut off, so you can't see all the way back to that area until you come up to here. However, if you jump on top of this burning vehicle right here, that will give you a line of sight onto the people all the way at the back there. And then you can maybe pick them off with a longer range gun. This is fairly obvious. I've seen a lot of people hanging out in these areas, but that's just something that you can do if you're looking for some longer shots with this map. Now getting over to this area here, this is a headquarters location. I believe there's also a hard point somewhere around here, although I could be mistaken on that. Just wanted to point out, you can jump up on the forklift here, and then this is an excellent way to challenge people when they're coming through this choke point. Instead of being on the ground where they expect you to be in a fair 50-50 gunfight, it's quite easy to just hop yourself up, and there you go. Now finally, one last thing I wanted to show, if you have enemies that are coming through that choke point, instead of standing here and taking a 50-50 fight, you can hop up on top of the car here, and there you go. Great little line of sight on those people there. But with that, that pretty much covers it for the spots I wanted to show you guys on this map. Not a ton of spots, but then again, it is a very small map. And I hope these few little tips and tools that I gave you will just help optimize your gameplay a little bit more while playing Shoot House. Now though, it's time to move into the most common spawn locations that you find on this map. Keep in mind for this series, I'm just going to be showing the common spawn locations for Domination, although it does tend to apply to other modes as well. But hopping into what I consider to be the primary spawns, these are the primary spawns you tend to see on Shoot House. There's quite a few of them, which there has to be with a smaller map because things get pushed around really, really easily. So these are the spawns that you see most of the time. 
Then we have some secondary spawns that I was seeing fairly often, but not quite as often as the primary spawns. And then finally, we have all of the other spawn points. These are ones that I only ran into like once or twice within my testing. They do exist. They will happen in some specific situation, especially when there's a lot of pressure put on all of the other spawns. But generally speaking, you don't see these ones too often. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Maps Exposed on Shoot House. As always with this series, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think of this map in the comment section down below, so let me know that. And also, let me know which map you'd like me to cover next for this series. Keeping in mind, I've already covered Piccadilly and Hackney Yard. The playlist will be linked down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.